Hello and welcome to a tutorial on doing some initial setup of a brand new site with WordPress.com. If you're looking at this video, more than likely you are in the instructional design course at the MSCT program at Ramapo College. I um, have logged in per my earlier instructions. I've set up a free WordPress.com site so I can see that my plan currently is free. There are some limitations, but that's okay for the most part. We're going to be able to use this. The one thing I want to just kind of get you oriented to up here in the upper left, you can always go to my site and that's going to take you to your dashboard and give you a sense of whether or not anybody's been visiting the site or uh, any kind of uh, statistics on the site. If I come down here, I can see my site title is msctportfolio.wordpress.com. That is the actual web address that you want to use when you are embedding it in other sites. If you are leveraging other sites um, and just pointing to this one, or if you needed to give somebody your web address directly, this would be it. So if I click on view site, I can see that indeed here is that particular web address. And then I can also click on copy there. This address is the one that you will need to link to. You'll need this information to link from it. Um, also kind of fun is that you can uh, pop these around and take a look at what your content would look like on a desktop, a tablet, or a phone. Before you do anything else, there are certain things that you should do in terms of settings. So I'm going to slide down to settings. And the first thing I want to do is, again, this should be for the EDPC 621 instructional design and I'm going to um, put my name here along with all 2017 so I'm going to recommend that you do the same for your tagline you can um, upload a site icon if you want to you do not need to at this point here is the address piece over here um, note that within the WordPress.com area, they are going to give you lots of options to buy a custom domain. You can do that here, but you don't need to. So I'm not going to show you a tutorial on it because uh, for the moment, I'm not uh, asking you to do it. I am going to set up um, the correct time zone. I find it always the best to scroll all the way to the top of the list. And then once I'm in the uh, zone called America, then I'm going to zone, um, scroll down and find the one that's closest to me, which happens to be New York. Um, it is a public site, so I'm good with that. I can do a whole bunch of other things, such as um, import. I can export. I can delete the content, the con uh, content, etc. But I'm going to go ahead and click on Save Settings because I want to keep my work. So one other point of information here that you do need to uh, take a look at, um, there's a variety of things that we'll come back and take a look at at this later on. However, the biggest thing is under discussion. These settings are very similar if you were hosting your own WordPress. So the things that I would want you to do is I would want you to uncheck the allow people to post comments on new articles mainly because unless you plan on using this as a real blog and, and moderating this, this is not a good thing. I probably would not do link notifications and I probably would not attempt to notify any blogs that linked to this. What I would do is under comments. Comments can be deadly because you can get a lot of spam that way. I would click that I do want them to be registered and logged into comment. I would want to automatically close comments um, older than a certain time. And then down here where it says before a comment appears, I'm going to check off that it must be manually approved. Um, what I'm trying to do here is make sure that nobody can post comments uh, without my knowing about it. And in general, again, from an educational standpoint, I don't need comments. It is unfortunately a great way to invite spam. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And that is the heart and soul of what you need to do to get immediately set up. You can do other things such as add additional uh, administrators if you wanted to. 
Um, that way you could have somebody else help you out with that. Um, this whole chunk where it's domains, you'd actually have to purchase a domain uh, to do that. Um, and you'd actually have to um, um, upgrade in terms of your, uh, your site. So in this particular case, I'm not advocating that just yet. For the moment, though, the big things that you'll be dealing with are the site pages, the blog posts, and the media areas. Our next little tutorial is going to be on customizing some themes, and I will talk to you soon, I am sure.